am Lisa Dawn Anjarami. I'm one of the founding partners of Nava NYC, a collective of nine yoga and meditation teachers in New York City. Our website is www.navanyc.com. Today, I will be talking to you about meditation. How you sit for your meditation practice is very important. You want to find a comfortable seat, one that will allow you to sit for a lengthy period of time. You want to be able to have a tall spine. You don't want to sit hunched over like this. This isn't very comfortable. It also does not allow the energy to flow openly. So you have your shoulders over your hips. And right now I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways that you can sit. A seat that we use in meditation often is called virasana. It means hero's pose. You can sit up on a block to do it. It's good to have your hips up over your knees so that your feet don't fall asleep and your spine can be tall. So you take the block, you put it underneath you, you bring your knees together, your feet on either side of you, place your hands in your lap, and close your eyes. Another comfortable seat for meditation practice is lotus position. It's sort of that classic uh, yoga position that you see uh, in the old photos of yogis sitting and meditating. But a good way to do it is to sit up on a blanket, take a blanket, fold it in half so you have a wedge, put it underneath your seat, and then bring your right foot into your left hip crease, your left foot up into your right hip crease. Find your sitting bones resting on the edge of the blanket. Rest your hands on your knees and close your eyes. When you choose your seat for meditation, it should be comfortable. So one option is to sit on a chair. Sit your seat down into the chair, place your feet firmly on the ground, rest your hands in your lap. Another way to sit in meditation is to sit against the wall so that your back has some support. You sit down, cross your legs in any comfortable seat, rest your hands in your lap. 